so blessed. I always say, Father, and it's true, you shed your grace on this country. And boy, Father, I'm telling you, I believe we're glad. Thank you, Father. I pray tonight, Father God, that your Holy Spirit, Father God, speaks through me what he wants, Father, and help me to leave off what he doesn't want, Father. I pray that I flow with the Holy Spirit because, Father, we believe that he is the great teacher. The great teacher. Lord, give your, your people listening hearts, ears, and minds, Father, to take in what the Spirit is saying, Father God, that they may grow up and mature in Jesus Christ. We appreciate it, Father God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I don't have a funny, because you guys ain't going to bring me no funny, so I don't have a funny. <laughs> okay. See, uh, last week I blamed it on Pastor. I'm going to bring it on y'all now. Okay. Um, okay, that's kind of the title. They always ask you for a title and you've got to think of something, you know, real quick, you know. That's kind of like what it is. Okay. This is along the lines that Pastor taught on this last Wednesday. It was so good. It would be so great if y'all go out there in the lobby and get just this last Wednesday's teaching. It will change your life. It was very, very, very good. About... Just give them the things to God and stop worrying about them. It's so good. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, um, John 14, 13 says, yeah. Praise God. Whatsoever you ask in my name, that will I do. But I'm going to insert in here because you always pray to the Father. Kind of help me. Whatsoever you ask the Father, in my name that I will do. Okay. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. Now John 14, 14 says, If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Okay. I'm going to probably be quoting that first one over and over. Whatsoever you ask the Father in my, in my name, that will I do. That will I do is the way it's in the thing. That will I do. Now, notice Jesus said, I will do it. You do the asking, mm -hmm. and Jesus said, I will do the doing. All right. Now, that just helped me in my prayer life and in my life. Jesus will do the doing. Okay, we step out of it, okay. The head of the church, the head of the body said, I will do the doing. His authority is great enough to see that any request from you is honored. Maybe you pray for an unsaved loved one. Jesus says, you ask for their salvation, I will do it. This is Jesus talking, y'all. Jesus Christ, the one who gave you eternal life. All right. Jesus sits at the right hand of the Father, and whatsoever you ask the Father, in Jesus' mighty name, he says, I will do it. Right. Okay. You ask for finances, and remember, God is your source. Jesus said, that will I do. Jesus said, I will do the doing. It is his business to see that it's done. Not us, and not our worry, and not our stress. In fact, Pastor said it should be off your mind. It should not touch your thought like it did. It was so good, Pastor. Yes. 
Do not let it touch your thought life again. Because Jesus Christ said, I'll do the doing, you do the asking. I'll do the doing. All right. The great and mighty Christ is willing for you to ask so that he may give. He will do the doing. I know you're tired of hearing that. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> All right. You hum your humble, simple prayer becomes Christ's prayer at God's right hand. You drop out of the picture. And your mighty advocate, Jesus Christ, the righteous one, takes up your case. Glory to God. Titus 1-2 says, In hope of eternal life, which God, who cannot lie. Then in Hebrews 6-18 it says, God has given us both his promises and his oath. These two things are unchangeable because it is impossible for God to lie. Numbers 23, 19, the new living. God is not a man that he should lie. Has he ever spoken and failed to act? Has he ever promised and not carried it through? See, we want to see it immediately. But sometimes it doesn't work like that. The New International Version says, Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? Hebrews 10.23 says, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. I have endeared that scripture to me. I would have never made it through my divorce. In the years I was divorced, I would have never made it, but I kept putting my eyes back on there. He who promised is faithful. He who promised is faithful. Yes. Luke 11, 9 says, this is Jesus speaking. All it's right. in red. All right. All right. He said this, so I say to you, ask. He's, he, he invites us to ask. He right. invites us to ask. Okay. And it shall be given to you. You do the asking, Jesus will do the doing. <laughs> then it takes the burden off of you. Obviously, I need to do this more than y'all. <laughs> Don't, this is something that Patty said this morning. I'm so grateful she said it because I felt maybe I might have had the right one. She says, Don't keep a bunch of stuff on your mind. Something like that. She never knows what she's saying when she's up there. I, I mean, not that she's incoherent, but I mean, <laughs> but I mean, she just says things and it just comes out of her mouth. It's God. That's most of the time, she right. confirms my sermon. Most of the time, praise God forevermore. Okay, that's the number one reason why I, I thought about this little um teaching here. Is um, there's so many things that could be on your mind, y'all. Okay, you got your own problems, and then, for instance, your neighbor asks you to pray for his problem, mm -hmm. and then you got a sick mother-in-law, and then um, and then uh, you got to pray for ISIS and pray for the president yeah. and pray for the persecuted Christians are in um, North Korea, and I mean, before you're, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of us are some of us are crazy to begin with. But um, <laughs> I mean, it's just overwhelming. I guess I just got overwhelmed, and I went to my book by E. W. Kenyon. I'm telling you, I get, I just get a high high faith when I go to that book. You do the asking. Notice Jesus does the doing. All you right. just step out of the picture. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Okay. Don't keep gobs of stuff on your mind and your heart. That's right. Ask and let Jesus handle it. He says, I will do the doing. All right. Then, then, say thank you, Jesus. And, and, and in, my, in my prayer, sometimes I just say, Jesus, thank you for listening to all the things I just, not even asking for just all the things I expounded on. Well, thank you even for listening. That's what a sweet, heavenly Father we have. Right. He's a good listener. Yes. <laughs> At the end of your asking, 
whatever it is. You know, if he didn't withhold Jesus from us, he would withhold nothing from us. Nothing. Say, as the end of your prayer, seeing as how you know that you do the asking and he does the doing, thank you, Jesus. I trust you. Joyce Meyer said, there's something that happens in her heart when she says those words. Jesus, I trust you. So I've been saying that. I mean, I had to say it all the way here. I mean, not just today. There is something that happens. God, I trust you. In other words, you've asked. You see the correct. You know Jesus is able and willing. Mm -hmm. I trust you, Lord. I just trust you, Father. I want you all to say it with me. After me. I trust you, Lord. I trust, I trust you, Lord. 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 He is willing. He is able. And remember, you know, I think sometimes we for maybe maybe don't. And not, he's not just going always going by our faith, high or little. He loves us. Yes. He wants to answer our prayer. He is success minded for every single person here. He's success minded. He loves you. He is so excited when you ask him for something. He's so excited. He wants to do it. He gets the glory, but he gets the real that my children ask me and I was able and willing to give it to him. I think we forget he loves us. Maybe you guys don't need that, but I've been here yes. listening to a tape that Jesus loves us and, and the Holy Spirit lets me. I'm just going to go through all the things on that tape. A cassette tape, mind you. I still got a cassette tape thing in me. It makes all the difference in the world to know that he really, 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 really loves you. I mean, we subliminally know he loves you. Well, he said, Jesus, of course he loves me. You know, like, what else could he do? He sent the greatest gift there was. But really let it sink in. Oh, yes. my father loves me. Yes. My father yes. loves me. Maybe y'all don't need it. I Thank need you, that. Jesus. I need it badly. Thank you, Jesus. My Father loves me. He'll do it just because He loves me. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. If anybody needs prayer, Father, I mean, if anybody needs prayer, I'll pray for them. Oh, they want to come up here.